Hello everyone and welcome to Restring Sunday. It's where we take a guitar, restring it, and talk a little bit about it. And today, I thought the topic might be interesting looking at first guitars, or more so first electric guitars, because we have got Glenn's Telly. So, Glenn, could you tell me what this is? It's a Squire Telly. It's a Squire Telly. It's not my first guitar. Okay. It's your I'm... first electric though, isn't it? Nope. No? Nope. It's not my first electric. It's, if you want to call it a first something, it's my first proper electric guitar. So okay. it's my first proper guitar I've got. What was your first electric? My first electric was a Burstwood. Oh. So, Argus Finest, and I don't know what that would equate to. One of those guitars that comes with a, a little amp. Yeah, and it comes, um, in, it comes in a catalogue mm -hmm. of uh, everything else you can buy. Yeah. It goes from knives to clothes to kids' toys to musical instruments. Boom. Last one. Ah. So the story of this guitar, I that is a manky fretboard. It is, we're washing that. Really. Jesus Christ. So the story of this guitar goes, I, I must have been, I think I got this in 2007, so I would have been about 11. And myself and my brother were getting really into music and taking guitar seriously playing. And he had really gotten into Guns N' Roses. So he really wanted a Les Paul. I had gotten really into status quo. So I wanted a Telecaster. What 11 year old gets into status quo? <laughs> well, that's what it was. I, I used to get told I have a, an old man's head on a young person's body. Yeah, you've been which, an old man forever. Yeah, I have. Um, so I really wanted a Telecaster. So. You know, that's the, the dream, one day I'll own a Telecaster, and in my brother's head, that's the dream I'll own a Les Paul for him. And one Christmas in 2007, we got our gifts, and in came two guitars in gig bags. So we're thinking, what are you, we're getting guitars. What are those? <laughs> You're just going to meme throughout this? <laughs> we're thinking... It's my job to be the, uh, the comic relief. You're Glenn now. <laughs> So my brother starts opening his first and I see the headstock and it's an Epiphone something and he goes and I'm just looking at his holding mine in the case and he goes further and it winds up being an Epiphone Les Paul tobacco burst lovely looking but then I got really excited and I you know I couldn't open mine fast enough because I knew it was inevitably going to be a Telecaster and it was so it was a beautiful looking black Telecaster with at the time a white pickguard so mm. I actually used to call it my Guinness guitar. And I, I loved it. It, it. You know, I thought that looked really cool. But then along came this guy and we formed a band and purple kind of seemed to be the... It became the colour, I don't know why. Yeah, it became the, the colour of the band and I thought it would be a cool visual to have a purple mirror kind of style pickguard and the little tone control volume thing uh, as purple as well. So. I put it on it, and that was my little mod. Is that that's the only mods you've done to this, right? No. No? It's not. Well, yes, that's the only mod I've done to this, but you've done a mod to this. Oh, no, that's not a mod. Uh, years and years and years ago, I repaired or replaced... No, I didn't know. It, 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 it is, is a, mod. a mod. It's a repair, but it's a mod. Yeah. Uh, the telly input jacks are crap a doodle do. They are renowned for when you take out the guitar cable. You also take out the whole insides of the input. It's really yeah. a poor design. Yeah, it is. And a lot of people go the actually status quo are another example of this. They've gone the route where you have more so a Les Paul kind of. Oh, input. the plate. Yeah. Yeah. And you have that kind of square and you're now screwing four holes into it. But if you remember, I wanted to make, I wanted it to work obviously and not keep coming out in my hand, but I wanted to make the most minor, the most minor, I wanted to make the least amount of changes to it. So what I opted for was, it's actually a fender part, if I'm not mistaken. It's basically where it stays the same, you have the same format, so it still sits in, like the little bowl, sits into the guitar, but you you just install two screw holes and it doesn't come apart. And it still, you know, has the same play authentic. That's That's basically what it is. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so we've got the board cleaned. It's a really nice dark board. Uh, you've got a little chip out of it. Rip. I do. Actually, there's one there too. How are you chipping the fretboard? Ask my 12-year-old self. I do not know. It also probably hasn't been cleaned since your 12-year-old self. Let's just get it some has. of that. It has. Oh, sorry, 13-year-old self? Don't, yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> No, this was actually before, you'll know as well, before I got my Gibson Les Paul, this was the main guitar. Yeah. I was always using this at our shows. Do you like it? I love this guitar. This is like, this is one of my favorites that I own. Question, why are you missing screws for your tally pickup? I'm not. Neck pickup? It's because this is a Fender pickguard. Oh. There's nothing there on a Squire. Um, you've actually played this live before as well. By accident. It wasn't intended. Not to, by accident. Well, emergency. Yeah, so you broke your high E string, I think? Or I, something like that. Yeah, something. You were playing your... He was playing his Blorms, Blormsby. Blormsby. That doesn't narrow it down. Blue Ormsby. Two. Oh, that's true, yeah. He was playing his OG Blue Ormsby, and he broke one of the pivotal strings. And since he was playing all of the leads, he went... Can I have your... Can I have your thing? No, it wasn't a can I have it. He went swap with me. And I proceeded to swap with him. And then I caught him on the ice. No. <laughs> Catch him on the ice. <laughs> what do you think of the purple pick on it? As opposed to a white? I think it makes it look nice, you know, original. original. It does make it look more quoey, actually. It does or it doesn't? It does. You think so? Yeah. Because they don't just have the standard tellies, they have some, some show pieces. Do you remember they brought out those facelifts? I don't know if you knew them at the time. Facelifts? Yeah, it's like uh, people will know. It was like a decal, like in the shape of it was the size of a telly body. Okay. And you could get either ones for a Fender or for a Squire. And it might be like a flag. Oh, or, the sticker thing. Yeah, and I actually had one. And you could peel it off and now you have a new Telecaster kind of thing. Did you do this to this? Yeah, I had a Francis Rossi one from Status Quo. So I had his green Telecaster. And why did you decide to go back to black? I just... There's a, it, see, it's novelty is what it is. So I had it for a little while. And actually, it was a Fender one I had. And the body on his is slightly smaller than what I have so you could see the blacks around and it was like it was a black binding on it but um, yeah, it was a cool idea I wouldn't be as opposed to doing it again something like that like a white or something what's this strap this is no, this is really kiss that's a Jody head strap she made that so she is the maker of Paul Stanley straps and Ace Freely straps called it yes Excuse. look at the head stuff I do not know. Were you like using this to hit symbols? Not that I know of. It looks like you were using it to hit symbols. Can you get that piece on the pick guard before I go insane? That's the one negative to this pick guard is that it shows every smudge and... Yes. Everything. I like the reflectiveness in it though. Yeah, it's a showy pick guard. Commenters, let us know how much you hate it. I'm, I didn't need to say that. You probably There's probably 60 <laughs> comments like, Ugh, uh, I'm holding in my, my puke. Uh. <laughs> I'm holding in my puke. <laughs> Oh, you've put pencil lead in your nut. Oh, I have, years ago, yeah. That's right. So at the moment you can see your fret is a bit dull. It's a bit, uh, meh. So what we do, you've also got a bit of fret wear as well. Yeah. Whoa. Now I have more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a considerable amount. 
I'm work. noticing You've too. You've really been cowboy courting this. I have. <laughs> but to be fair, like how many years ago was this? 2007. Oh, so it's uh, it's closer to 20 years than not. 17 years. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a bit, isn't there? Those are, that's moon landing kind of <laughs> craters in that. Oof. Maybe that's telling that it's a, it's a great guitar to play. This really is the most smudgeable guitar. You've got a gloss black and f like mirror, purple mirror. Watch. Yeah, hairs are very attractive. No, you have to, you have to do it right. <laughs> you got dings in such weird places. How did you get a ding there? Wasn't that a Billy Ray Cyrus song? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that other guy, Garth Brooks. Uh -huh. I've got dings in really weird places. You've got a ding here. I love how like a guitar that's loved just means like you've beaten the crap out of it. How, how do I do it? Do I do I wrap it that way or that way? You're asking me, I have no idea. Uh, Wait, hang on, Mr. Restring Sunday is asking me how to string a guitar. I, I don't, I've never done tellies. Hashtag, 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 hashtag stringing me along over here. Hashtag stringing me along in the comments, Listen please. to this guy, he's worked up and he's highly strung. <laughs> oh, I bet you're so happy to have me back in the show. I like that it's classified as a show, not just two random people. Just Wayne and Garth. <laughs> Wayne and Garth. Oh no, it's a show. Yeah, it's the Wayne and Garth show. So, okay, here's a question. One guitar, rest of your life. <laughs> oh, I'm pissing on the wall. I feel bad because this has been my guitar for so many years. Oh, so it's Les Paul, okay. Has to be Les Paul. Wait, wait, are you surprised for that or no? Not really. I haven't seen you play this in a very long time. Yeah, I like as as you know. Sometimes I I take it out for little pity plays. Like I'll bring it to practice because I feel like I should be playing. You have to look down as well. Well, I feel like I should be playing it more, so I bring it to practice from time to time. But I'd like to gig with it again. It's from Indonesia. Oh, it's an Indonesian squire. It is interesting. Designed and backed by Fender. Fronted by Squire. With the sides done by Epiphone. Catch you on the ice. What would happen if you put two strings in the same hole and just... <laughs> I'm genuinely Do I asking... dignify that with an answer? <laughs> I'm genuinely asking this question. This is like the longest restring you've ever done. I am really feeling this one, Mr. Krabs. All right, so that's the, the video. Just a quick restring. <laughs> that's the video. <laughs> that's the video, a quick restring of this guitar. I think it's kind of cool, uh, especially that it's it's an old school one. Yeah. It's Baby Glenn. Well, is it an old school? No, but it's an old school to us. It's an oldie where I come from. Now watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? <laughs> this has been a long day. Thank you for, <laughs> for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to and because Glenn is only occasionally on here yeah. uh, but he'll be on more I would like to think so well that's up to you guys spam this video with dislikes uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye, -bye. <laughs>